Hello. Welcome to the Expert Novice here at Every Way Woman. I have with me today friend and neighbor Mary McGregor. Now she's going to show us how to make this skirt that's made out of ties. And I saw her walking around the apartment complex with this with this skirt on, the one that she has on. Mary, thank you. <laughs> and it just looks so interesting to me. And I asked her where she got it. I made it. So I made this necktie skirt because somebody had brought me a necktie skirt and said, hey, do you um, think that you could make this? And I said, sure, I think I can make that. So then I did. Okay. Now, did you suggest that I go buy the skirts? The skirts. Go buy the ties? No. Don't go buy the ties. I mean, not at a full price store unless you're so in love with a particular tie that you just can't stand it. So go buy that tie. But otherwise, go to somebody's closet or go ask somebody who uh, maybe had a uncle or a grandfather or somebody like that who died and maybe there's some slobber like there for instance this was somebody I knew and they spilled something on the tie and I don't know and now they're gone and now I'm remembering them and this one that, on the tie. Um, that Mary made for me has my husband's tie on it and then uh, somewhere I think in here is our wedding tie as well oh that's kind it's of gonna end up on my skirt but somebody's gonna be wearing it yes yeah, somebody's gonna wear your wedding tie. now for someone like me who would love to do things like this I love to sew I love to do things but I see two sewing machines here, and to me that's very intimidating. Oh, not at all. These sewing machines are as old as I am, which is old. And um, they're older than I am. This machine is really, really old. All it does is a straight stitch. This machine, and just so you know, I'm 48 years old. And yes, I do feel a little bit like mutton dressed up as lamb in this skirt, but I, I'm okay with that. She loves okay. I didn't know you were 48. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. So anyway, and then this one, this one, all it does is straight and zigzag. There is nothing computerized about any of these machines, um, which is wonderful when you go to get them fixed because it doesn't cost a lot of money. Okay. There you go. So I don't need a fancy sewing machine, just no, a straight sewing fancy. machine. No, nothing fancy. And then we have here the sewing kit. So it looks like we just have regular scissors. You obviously need the neckties, mm -hmm. you need thread, you need a zipper foot, you need um, the sewing machines, you need pins, a measuring tape, uh, a zipper. What's this called? Oh, oh, a measuring tape. We went over that part. And um, <laughs> uh, the ripper. And, yes, for when you make a mistake, which I never do, of course. And you need seam binding. Okay, seam binding. This, seam binding, that's this what is this new. is. Well, n what do you mean? It's new to me, I don't know about seam binding. Oh, you, it's in all the stores. Okay, it looks like a ribbon, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, it is, it's like seam, but that's what it's called, seam binding. Okay. You buy it in a little package about this big, and it's cheap and whatever. Okay, now the, I think you were telling me that the hardest part about putting a skirt together was deciding in what order the skirts go in. In what order the ties go in? Yes, okay, sorry, because ties. you collect a bunch of ties, and different people want different things. Like for instance, I make these ties because I teach, and a lot of my students want to have ties and uh, tie skirts, and so I make them for them for special occasions, or for the students I really really like. <laughs> okay, I didn't say that. All right, so I choose. Sometimes certain people want certain colored necktie skirts. Like okay. you were particular about you sort of wanted a green thing. Right, you like green. green. I like colorful things clearly, and so I really like this colorful one. Some people can go with just eclectic, like they don't care which ties are in their in their skirt, and other people want it to be of a certain palette, and it has to be go together, and they like to match it up. Now, this is a tie I would never wear, and I would never let my husband wear, but I really like this idea of having this tie in a skirt. That would look fabulous in a tie skirt. In fact, the more god-awful the tie is, it probably is going to look cuter in a skirt. So go with that idea right away. Like for instance, I think that this tank tie is god awful, but it's really, and not only that, it's really substantial tie. I don't think it's all silk. It feels and like it was made in 1970. Yes, and it will really hold up. <laughs> So that's good. So then probably, like for instance, since we're going to start with what a lot of people, like for instance, here's the zipper of this skirt. You can put this skirt, that's what's nice about this skirt too, is you can wear, like maybe you really like this tie. I'm not crazy about that tie. I really like this yellow tie, so I like to wear it in front, but I don't care where the zipper is. So, but say you do have to have the zipper in the back, I'm going to put a tie in the back that isn't so ooh la la. So that's a good one because it's really firm. Okay. And it'll handle the zipper thing. And is this is the one we start with? I'm going to start with that tie. Yeah. Okay, so you start with the tie that's going to be where the zipper is. And we're going to just select a few and put them together. Right. I so like this one. You like this one. Okay, tray fab. Okay. And um, we just, I think this one might look nice against that, yeah? Okay. And then should we just go with those three for so right now? We're going to start with these three. Okay. We're going to the non -com not complicated sewing machine. That's right. 
Okay. Okay. And I have it just on a straight stitch. And you know, the tension is all worked out. And you okay. just take, now, lots of people like to pin. I can't stand pinning because that means it takes a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time. And then the next thing I'd have to do after I pin is take the pins out. And that makes me more nauseous than putting the pins in. So now, I've started doing a new thing because I'm just so creative. Um, these, these necktie skirts, the ties get sewn all the way down to the bottom. Now I like the pleat idea, so I leave a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of space. Oh, it doesn't matter how okay. much. Okay, so it opens when you walk. So, yeah, when you walk it mm -hmm. like flips. Yeah, and you can get cute. one of those. I'm sorry, <laughs> well, maybe if you play your cards right, honey, you can get one. <laughs> In two years. Okay, right, yeah, when I finish with everybody else's. Okay, so then you just put it down. Okay. And then there's nothing fancy about this. I don't try to hide a thing. Like, I don't hide my back stitch and my straight stitch. I just go over it, you overlap it, but the only thing is you have to overlap all your neckties to the same side. Okay. okay so that's what you do. So if you put your tie over on that's the left, right. you have to do all of them over to the left. Right. So, and then you just sew straight up the necktie. Okay. Just like that. Now, if they start to curve, the first couple of um, necktie skirts I made, the, just real quick, the first couple of necktie skirts I made, this, the tie started to curve a little bit because I didn't quite get the layout quite right, I but I soon got past that. Yours didn't curve, did no, it curve? No, mine didn't curve. No, yours is pretty straight. Yeah. And then you just sew straight up the skirt for the thing. And I sew, I don't know, I just, when the tie starts to go off the table, I think, okay, I've probably sewn enough. <laughs> there is absolutely no method to my madness whatsoever. Oh, I need a pair of scissors. Hold on. Oh, I'll get them for you. Okay, thank you. And then, or you can just use the handy dandy. This, this machine is very fabulous with that cutter there for the thread. And then, then you just do the same thing here. Start there. And you go up to the next one. And overlap it. Yeah, same way. And this whole process, say, Madison's tie, tie skirt only took um, 13 ties. I think I have 15 ties or 16 in mine, because I'm a tad bit larger. And anyway. <laughs> curvy. Yes, that's You like it. the word curvy. Yes. <laughs> and you know, most of them are worn down a little bit on your hips, not so much up on your waist, mm -hmm. because it's, you know, it's all the rage these days. And uh, there you go. Oh, yeah, I didn't cut it with the scissors. So that's what it looks like. And then you just keep adding neckties as you go along. And, they, and it looks straight, see? Mm -hmm. And it's going to flip. Okay. So what we're going to recommend everyone do is, if you're going to do this project with us, take the time to get the materials together, select the ties that you like, anywhere from 13 to 17 ties, just in case you make a mistake, and then stay tuned for the second part of this segment when we start putting the ties together and we'll tell you what the next step is. Thank you for joining us.